name is Justin, and today we're going to be going over how to install the PureTest PT8. Uh, first thing you want to do is open the box. We're going to go over what's inside. So inside the cardboard box, you will find a few items. You will find the ultraviolet system itself, the housing with the control box. You will find an optional uh, mounting bracket if you want to change the mounting location of the box. You will also find this cardboard sleeve here. Inside the cardboard sleeve is your lamp and your cord sleeve. And also is the owner's manual and installation instructions. Inside this bag is important. There is a flow control which gets installed on the bottom of the UV on the inlet and the black o-ring to seal the quartz sleeve for your watertight seal. Now this part of the video we're going to be going over how to install the PureTest PT8 and so right now we have the system plumbed in and mounted. Uh, there's two mounting holes at the top of the bracket of the system. And then we have, we're using PEX plumbing here. You can use PEX, copper, and uh, PVC. But we recommend with PVC uh, to plumb a little bit of copper in or some type of metal or UV resistant uh, PEX. Uh, at least 12 inches uh, past the inlet and outlet because the UV can break down the plastic over time. Uh, but what's really important, inside that owner's manual, there's a uh, brass and rubber flow control. And what this is, it's rated, this system is an eight gallon a minute system, so this is an eight gallon a minute flow control. And this is gonna regulate the water coming into the system, making sure that no more than eight gallon a minute, uh, eight gallons a minute goes through the system. This is to protect you from um, running too much water through your system and not getting the contact time needed to kill the bacteria. So the way this gets installed is we have a sample nipple here. It is all of our systems uh, for the pure test systems come with a one inch male pipe thread on the outside, three quarter inch female pipe thread on the inside. And the inside of that nipple on the female part is tapered behind the, the three quarter inch female threads that match this flow controls uh, taper. So all you need to do, this gets installed on the bottom of the UV. You always want it on the incoming side. And in this case, it's uh, from the bottom of the system. So you drop this flow control right down into the center. And all you need to do, once it's seated in there, is just push, push right down on it you can even take like a, a screwdriver or socket head or something and, and you know push on it, but simply just using your hand and uh, pushing it down into that taper will drop it into place. Uh, so here it's installed, snap coming out, and um, at that point you can make your plumbing connections. And um, like I said, in this case we use the uh, we use the female three quarter inch pipe thread on uh, this install job. So the first thing you wanna do uh, when you're getting ready to prep for the install is shut your main water off. You want the water shut off uh, you know, before the install. And um, the second thing you wanna do is relieve the pressure. Now there's multiple ways you can relieve the pressure. In this case, we have a 20 inch uh, big blue filter cartridge plumbed in so we can relieve the pressure at the pressure relief button on the filter. If we had a softener or, or a filter, backwashing filter in place here, we could put it into backwash. Or you can simply go to uh, a sink uh, in the house or business and uh, just turn it on and relieve the pressure that way. Uh, once you do that, um, you will want to um, Make your plumbing connections or you know cut your pipes uh, do whatever plumbing you need to uh, to get this in but you want the inlet coming in from the bottom and you can
can either use three quarter inch female threads or the one inch male threads on the system. Outlet is up out the top of the system. And then um, you'll want to take your uh, quartz sleeve. Now your quartz sleeve comes in a tube and it, it'll be wrapped in bubble wrap. Be very careful when you remove the quartz sleeve. You don't want to drop it or unravel it too fast. And uh, all you want to do to install a quartz sleeve is inside the bottom of the, the chamber there is a spring. The spring is designed to help hold the quartz sleeve in place. And uh, when you feed it down in, you'll hear, you're, you're going to hear it rattle a little bit, and that's perfectly fine. It's just the spring settling in place with the quartz sleeve. Um, but what you want to do is inside that owner's manual bag, there's your black O-ring, and this is going to be your watertight seal. So this O-ring gets installed on the outside of the quartz sleeve, and all you do is slip it over the quartz sleeve and push it straight down so that it's seating against the stainless nipple but not going over the threads of the stainless nipple. Then what you want to do is take your, your brass uh, end nut or compression nut and all you need to do to install that is slip that that goes over the quartz sleeve and you'll feel it nest against the uh, that black o-ring and it might feel like it's you're not going to go over but all you need to do is push straight down and you'll feel the compression nut reach the stainless threads and at that point all you need to do is thread that compression nut over those stainless threads and you just want to get it hand tight um, you don't want to you can snug it just a hair with a with a wrench but you don't want to crank it because you can over tighten it which will cause the quartz sleeve to break uh, so you don't you don't want to do that um, but once once you have the um, the cord sleeve in place and tight, I like to turn the water on, and you want to do this very slowly. And I, I just do this to check for leaks. Um, so I have the water completely on right now. I can verify around the top of the the inside of the uh, compression nut. There's no water coming up there, and down around the bottom of the threads, there's no water there. So we've made a good uh, watertight seal with that o-ring and compression nut against the quartz sleeve. So at this point we can take our UV lamp and it's very important to only touch the white ceramic ends. We don't want to touch the glass portion because uh, we don't want to get the oils on our fingers on it. You can even wear gloves if you want, um, but as long as you touch the, the white ends you'll be fine. Um, but to, to install the lamp all you do is put it down through the center of that brass compression nut or end nut and feed it down slowly. You want to make sure that you don't drop it too fast or just um, you know feed it down too fast because if it if it hits the bottom of the quartz sleeve too hard you can crack it and um, that cracked quartz sleeve will allow water to come spraying up everywhere. So there is a four pin configuration on the pure test systems and uh, they're in a rectangular format. The lamp connector will only got, go on one way, so you just need to match the, the direction of the rectangle. And uh, feed it on like so. And um, you can feed that lamp down in the rest of the way gently until it reaches the bottom. And then you have your brass dust cap, and that's going to cover the top of the hole of the compression nut. So that just slips right over and uh, uh, covers that up. Mm -hmm. Now this part of the install, we have the quartz sleeve installed, we have the lamp installed, we have our incoming water supply on, and we are ready to plug the system in. Upon startup, the board is going to go through a sequence and uh, it might might flash a little bit and play a little um, alarm when you first start up. That's normal. What it's doing is it's, it's setting its, uh, uh, the incoming watts from the ballast, just its initial startup sequence. 
So once it's on, uh, anytime you put a new lamp in or a new startup, you want to reset the system to restart the 12 month counter um, on the system. So to reset it, all you have to do is hold the reset button in for about 10 seconds. It's going to play a little tune and then at the end of it, it's going to go to a green light and at that point you can uh, release that button. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So uh, the system is reset. Uh, one nice feature of the pure test control box is if you're not sure how many months you have left on the lamp, what you can do is just press and release. And what it's doing is it's beeping off the number of months left. So in that case, we just reset it so there's 12 months left, so it beeps 12 times. Uh, a couple other features on the control box is it reads the incoming watts from the ballast. If the watts ever drop below a certain point, uh, the ballast will pick that up, go into alarm. Uh, it acts as a day counter, uh, so it's going to count down from 12 months. When it gets down to when it gets to the 11th month, it's actually going to change the light indicator from a green light to a yellow light, and that'll let you know that you have 30 days to replace that lamp. Uh, within that 30 days, uh, what you need to do is order a new lamp um, or you know if you're having somebody service the system for you call your service person and it'll also uh, act as a lamp out indicator so if the lamp would ever fail it's going to go into an alarm that red light's going to come on it's going to an audible alarm and um, so our light is green our system is in installed properly so at this point, we can turn on the outgoing side of the water. So this concludes the video on how to install the PureTest PT8 system. The install and service is going to be very similar to the PT20 and the PT12. The only difference between the three systems is the gallons per minute, uh, the 8 being 8 gallons a minute, the PT12 being 12 gallons a minute, and the PT20 being 20 gallons a minute. Uh, so this concludes the video. I, my name is Justin. I thank you for watching and I thank you for purchasing a pure test system.